Hey guys, what's up? Two Wheel Turbin. Today I want to do a top speed test on this Kawasaki KX85. We'll see if I can get that done. Um, see how she rides. Wow, these things rip. Oh, I'm trying to get her warmed up a little bit. See how it does right here. Oh my god, that has got crazy torque. Whoa! <laughs> that thing is fast. Oh my gosh, this thing is fast, guys. I haven't ridden many two strokes in my day, so this thing just feels quick. Let's just see what we can get up to in this little, uh, I don't know, quarter mile stretch. This front tire might be a little low, too. Seems a little low. Probably should have aired these tires up. Let's see what it can do. Here we go, guys. Let's see what the KX85 can do. And the power band. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa! That was 55. Oh my gosh. This thing hauls. This thing absolutely moves. Whoo! Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. This thing rips. <laughs> Holy crap, guys. I have not ridden many two strokes. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> that is fun. Oh my god. This thing moves. Right, guys so i was ripping up and down that church and uh i was gonna take it on the local like interstate we have where i made a video with the ttr but man i recently got in trouble riding around on that crf 100 so i was like i'm not gonna risk it but i feel like i got to like what did i get to i think i got up to like 55 miles an hour on it and that was gps and this bike had more to go how much more to go i would say at max like maybe 10 miles an hour so like the, the, the motor on this bike is extremely strong. Um, it just rips, absolutely rips, but the gearing is kind of short because you know, this bike's meant for racing, motocross. You don't need to go hundred miles an hour. So I'm sure with some different gearing, you know, smaller sprocket in the rear, bigger one up front, you can maybe get this thing up to like 75, 80. I'm honestly not sure, but I wouldn't doubt it, especially if you're a lighter rider. Um, I'm only about 160, 165 pounds. But man, this thing was moving and these two strokes just sound so good. I don't have like a ton of experience riding two strokes. So whenever the power band hits, 
my heart is just like racing and I'm honestly pretty scared. Um, even though I ride 1290 Super Duke R, almost like 200 horsepower bike, this little 85 two stroke, I think puts more fear in my heart than that bike. So um, <laughs> yeah, we got what, like 55 GPS and we're running only, I don't know, that little strip there's probably eighth of a mile, who knows how long. So this thing really gets up and goes really fast. The acceleration is pretty nuts. Um, it power wheelies like first gear, second, probably third. You can probably clutch up fourth if you're light and know what you're doing. Um, but man, this thing's got a full FMF system. So it sounds pretty awesome. I actually got this bike for only $1,000 on Facebook Marketplace. I was planning on buying it to flip it because that's what I've kind of been doing recently, buying some little pit bikes for cheap and fixing them up and then flipping them. But this one, it's tough. This bike is just a ton of fun to ride. I love how it sounds. I love just going through the gears. So we may see this one more on the channel. I'm really not sure. We'll see if I need the money. Um, but man, this thing rips. I think easily 60 mile an hour capable bike with 160 pound rider. Who knows, maybe 65 miles an hour. Um, another thing is this bike, when I bought it, it has been sitting for like three months. Who knows when the last time the top end was had a rebuild or when maintenance was done. So I'm sure this bike's not even in, you know, peak potential, but man, 55 mile an hour GPS and like an eighth mile, like seems like a really short distance. So yeah, that was uh, trying to get the realistic top speed on this bike. I wish I could have actually gotten it. Um, if you have this bike or something similar, some YZ85, RM85, let me know in the comments down below what you think this bike can hit top speed. I say around 65 miles an hour. I would say, yeah, that's pretty good, especially with this gearing. I mean, the gearing is just insanely aggressive for short shifts between gears. But yeah, this is a fun bike to ride and hopefully I can make some more videos with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed that and stay tuned for more videos and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.